Hi everyone. Today we can discuss about the next topic in module six. That is uh, types of firewall. We had already discussed about what you mean by firewall. Actually, it is a hardware or software or a combined uh, system which is used for performing some security mechanism. Or it is a network device that isolates organization's internal network from a larger outside network. So uh, they prevent um, unauthorized access to or from the internal inter uh, network. And uh, all data packets that is entering or leaving through this firewall, uh, examined by this firewall, and blocks those uh, that do not meet all the specified security criteria. So these are about firewalls. And uh, let us examine what are the types of firewalls in the network security. So the types of firewall which is uh, included into three categories. They are packet filter, application level gateway and circuit level gateway. Okay. So there are three main types of firewalls. First one is a packet filter router or packet filter. It may be stateless condition or it may be stateful condition. Or second one is an application level gateway and the third one is a circuit level gateway. So first category is packet filtering router. So this is the structure of a packet filtering router. Actually this is a router which uh, connects the internet with a private network. And this packet filtering root, router maintains a security parameter or some security policies are there to check whether that IP packet uh, follows some security criteria or not. Okay. So these are the structure of a packet filtering uh, router and which applies a set of rules uh, for each incoming IP packet and uh, then forwards or discards the packet. Actually, the follows are uh, two policies. One is a forward policy and another one is discard policy. If the IP packet meets the security policies, I mean security criteria, then it will be forwarded into the um, internal organization's network. Otherwise, it will be discarded from the firewall itself. So filter packets, packet filtering is going in both directions. Actually, filtering of packet is done in this packet filter router. Uh, based on some list of rules. Uh, so based on that rules, um, they are matching the fields to the uh, IP or TCP header and follows uh, some forward, forward or discard policies. Okay. And the main advantages of this packet filter router is its simplicity and they may be transparent to the user. Also high speed mechanism, it's a high speed mechanism but it contains some disadvantages, uh, difficulty of setting up the packet filter rules uh, and also lack of uh, authentication purpose is there. So these are all the advantages and disadvantages of the packet filtering router. So what do you mean by a firewall? What are the categories of firewall? We have three categories of firewall. One is packet filter router. Second one is application level gateway and the third one is a uh, circuit level gateway. Okay, first we had uh, studied about uh, packet filter router. Here, uh, this packet filtering rules are based on the, some information contained in the network packet. So, which are all the information uh, is used for filtering rules? Uh, first one is the source IP address. Uh, that means um, from where the IP packet is originated, it will be mentioned. And destination IP uh, address, uh, that means where the IP packet is trying to reach. Also, we have to specify the source and destination transport level address. And also some uh, IP protocol field is used for uh, determining the rules of packet filtering. Also, we have to specify the interface. Uh, for a route uh, with three or more ports, which interface of the router packet router the packet came from or which interface of the router the packet is designed destined. So that should be specified. So based on these uh, parameters, we are determining the rules of the packet filtering router. Next one, application level gateway. So it is more secure than a packet filter. Uh, uh, actually, this application level gateway need only scrutinize a few allowable application. 
also there is a mechanism to log and audit all the incoming traffic at the application level so actually this application level gateway um, is performing uh, the features or other functions at application layer uh, it is acting like a log or audit controller so this is the structure of application level gateway from out uh, I mean outside host is uh, how they separated from the inside connection so it is actually performing at the application layer uh, in which http smtp ftp telnet all are working so it will be otherwise known as an application proxy or a proxy server it act as a relay of application level traffic uh, actually user requests the service from a proxy so this application level gateway will act as a proxy server so a proxy validates a request as legal and then actions uh, request and returns the results to the user also it can act as a log or audit traffic at the application level that means we are uh, performing some logging mechanism and audit mechanism at the application level gateway whenever reaching a request from the user it will be recorded and uh, it will uh, validate that request and it will send uh, results to the user so it will be act as a proxy server or application proxy so this application level gateway which will uh, otherwise known as a proxy server okay and its main advantage is it's more secure than packet filter firewalls and easy to log and audit incoming traffic but the main disadvantage is, is um, an additional processing overhead is required rather than that of packet filtering router there is no log or audit control mechanism in packet filter routing uh, in packet filtering router so there is no overhead but here there is a um, log or audit mechanism so it will act as a proxy server so there will be a processing overhead in a, an application level gateway okay next category is a circuit level category i mean circuit level gateway so uh, how the outside connection is um is separated from a, or how they connected to inside connection so this will be act as a stand alone system or a, a system that is used for uh, performing some specialized function uh, here also there are a, uh, a two tcp connections are set up the gateway typically relays uh, tcp segments from one connection to the other without examining the contents actually um, they are mainly deals with tcp segments so they are creating or set up uh, some two uh, tcp connections and here the contents of the tcp segment uh, will not be examined uh, security function consisting of actually determining which connections will be allowed actually connection is um, checking typically uh, uses a situation in which the system administrator trusts the internal users uh, main uh, example for this circuit level gateway is sox package which contains some uh, sox server sox client library and soxified version of the several standard client programs such as ftp and lnet so in the case of packet filtering we are applying some rules in the case of application level uh, gateway um, we are it will be act as a proxy server it can log and audit but in the case of uh, circuit level gateway it is actually based on checking the connection not the contents of the message so applying security mechanism on tcp connections here two tcp connections are setting up so these are all about the three categories of uh, firewall okay uh, they are packet filter router uh, application level gateway and circuit level gateway okay Thank you.